What's up YouTube and all my tiny house friends out there? Uh, thank you guys for visiting my channel. My name is Adam and I just realized I finished part one of the video and I didn't tell you guys how to uh, connect this up to a solar panel system. So if you saw part one then you'll know already that this is a, a 50 amp twist lock. It's basically been reduced down to a 30 amp 110 volt <laughs> twist lock. Um, and this just twists and locks in here very easily. Take comes out very easily. The other side of this cord is this little piece right here, I basically made this whole thing myself uh, very inexpensively and this piece right here can plug into a normal 110 volt outlet. Okay, so that's, if, you, if you're parked at somebody's house or if you're parked up at an RV park or something like that, that's how you would do it probably um, and just pay a very small electricity bill. If you want to be totally off grid and you want to connect this to a solar panel system, then all you're going to do is plug this into your inverter. Okay, so if you don't understand how a, a solar panel system works, essentially this is how it works. Photons from the sun, little light energy particles are beaming down at us all the time, and then an electrical panel takes those photons and converts that energy into a flow of electrons. That, electro or that electricity basically is a flow of electrons, that's what electricity is. Um, but that electricity is in DC, and you need AC power for this to work. Okay, so. The rest of the of the system is basically converting your, your storage and converting your electricity to AC. So basically what happens is photons come down from the sun, they hit your solar panels, the electricity from your solar panels comes out in DC. Now as the sun comes over your house, there's different, you know, varying amounts of energy at different times. So you have to have a charge controller so you don't fry your batteries. Okay. So the electricity goes through your charge controller into your batteries at a nice steady rate because of your charge controller in DC power still and your batteries store the energy in DC power it's just like having a, a tank or a well you gotta have you gotta store the electricity so at nighttime you can use it okay so it's still in DC power you need to connect your batteries to a, an, an inverter in, an appropriate size inverter for whatever you're trying to run in your tiny house and that inverter converts that DC power into AC power that you can use and the front of your inverter will have a little terminal on it or basically an AC 110 volt outlet that you can plug this guy right into. Okay, So that's pretty much it guys, that's all it takes. Uh, actually hooking up your solar panel system is a much more in depth video which is coming soon so uh, if you want to check that out don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. And uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't heard already, um, I've written a tiny house ebook, basically, a, is you know how to build your own tiny house, uh, step by step, from buying a trailer all the way to doing the finishing touches. Okay, so uh, if you don't know where to begin, or maybe if you're in the middle stages, or if you're thinking about building yourself a tiny house and you want to know what exactly it's going to take, uh, it's called How to Build Your Own Tiny House on Wheels. Even if you're a broke 25 year old. And it's on Kindle. Uh, in, in the month of August, I'm selling it for $3, grand opening month. So uh, I have a link down in the description box below. Um, hope you guys like the book. Check it out. And if you like this video, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.